Hello there, welcome again to We Are Crafted In His Image. Today, we are working on the third project in our Dainty Delight Cocoa and Crafts class. Hopefully my tongue will work better today than it did when I did the last video. Um, but yeah, we are gonna make this card here and it just opens up, got a little sentiment on the inside. Um, but I thought it was a pretty way to use this, this little spray of flowers. Actually, it's the big spray in this set. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to move my stamp set out of the way, put the card where I can see it, and pull out one of everything. Now, when you're doing yours, it will save you time if you do both at the same time. So stamp both pieces, color both pieces, just do them together. I'm just doing one for the sake of time. Now, in your, you do have, in one of your envelopes, you have some twine, which I have... I have the full thing, but I cut off some twine for you. Um, and then you also have some of these rhinestones in your kit as well. They, they will be in one of the envelopes. So get those ready. And I'm gonna stamp on one envelope. I'm gonna stamp on this piece. And then we also need to stamp on the card base itself. Um, move that. Now you will also notice that you have four pieces of Calypso Coral cardstock, two of which are slightly wider on one side than the other one. Um, these, This piece here, the wider one, is your actual back of your card. Um, and then we will mount the Sahara sand piece onto that. So this is the back. Um, this is this piece right here that we're gonna end up tearing. This is your front panel. So you'll need one of each for each card, but make sure you don't get them confused when you go to do the tearing and the gluing. It'll be pretty easy because we're gonna, we're gonna adhere to the big one first. Okay, so move that and let's go ahead and stamp on here. I've got my flower stamp mounted onto a block. This is the large cluster. Go ahead and ink that up with the Memento ink. Make sure. And then this one here, I'm gonna stamp so that this part of the flower is pretty close to the top, but not all the way to the top of my paper here. And I'm not, I don't wanna go off the edge on this one. I'm gonna keep most of it on. Stamp firmly, there we go. So that part is ready, and then I'm gonna stamp also on my envelope, but that one I am gonna stop, stamp off the edge, so I'm gonna grab a scrap piece here. That way my background piece that you're looking at doesn't get all, all dirty and gross. Okay, so this I'm gonna stamp right here. Like that, oh, so pretty. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so get that out of the way. And then because I am stamping words and this is red rubber, these are our cling stamps, I am going to use the Stamparatus. So let me pull this in here. Um, I need, I'm gonna end up using both of these um, panels. Let me turn it. I don't know, for some reason I prefer it to be on this side. I mean, we'll just, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I gotta grab my block, so. Um, the best is yet to come. That is going to go on the front of our card. So what I like to do, I want it to go in this corner. This is the front of the card. I'm gonna want it to go right down here in this corner. But as you can see, that's hanging off too far. However, I don't want it right here because that is too close to this hinge. So basically, I'm just gonna kind of move around. Now see, this is close to this hinge. However, if I turn this and put this here, it is not close to that hinge. So this is the best spot for me to use, the best way for me to do this. There we go. And now I like to take it off and verify. I don't know what that little piece of green is. It keeps sticking to everything. I am slightly up on one side. I don't know that you can see on the camera, but there are grid lines on here. And so what I'm doing right now is just kind of looking at the bottom of these words to see that they are lining up with this grid line here. Because I do want it to be pretty straight. And if I wasn't sure that it's gonna be straight, I could actually ink it up 
stamp it onto this background, which I'll do that just to show you. This is um, slick, non-porous, and then I can look and see, look, that lines up very nicely with the lines. It's all nice and straight. So then I just use a wipe, I'll just clean it off of there, give it a second to dry before I stick my paper on there, and that's good to go. Here, I'll go ahead and wipe it off with a tissue. And now I know it's going to be straight. So actually, while I have this set up already, I'm going to go ahead and stamp both of mine so I don't have to reline that up later. Come on, get in there. There's one. And there's the other one. So that one's ready. And now I'm just going to use that same white that I used before. You could use our chamois that we have. This is a chamois, a car chamois. It's not as thick as the Stampin' Up! one. Um, where is, there it is. Now we want to use the inside sentiment says, sending love during this season of growth. So I'm going to grab that one. Whoops. And now I'm going to do the same thing. This is my front. So this needs to go here. And I'm going to kind of eyeball and figure out where, let's see, now I want to turn it this way. And we're going to use this, this side. Okay, and I think I want it down a little bit lower. And just because I'm weird, I prefer, I prefer the flap on my left hand versus my right. I don't, that's just the way I prefer to do it. So, <laughs> Um, I have it upside down as you can see by this, but that's okay. Oh, I got it on there now. I need, oh yeah, that's definitely crooked. Lift that up a little bit. Are we straight? Okay, I'm going to verify that that is straight before I... Yeah, not too bad. It's slightly up on one side. Looks like the during is raised up just a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm gonna bring it down and now we should be good. Okay, clean this off, dry. And now make sure I'm stamping in here so that goes yes <laughs> verify I'm putting it in the right spot ta-da yes like it okay I'm gonna go ahead and do my other one as well so that goes that direction So, note to self, make sure I put the cell phone in do not disturb mode when I'm doing videos. <laughs> I just had a nice chat with my sister-in-law. Anyway, let's get back to our card here. Um, let me go ahead and ink this up. <laughs> I tried to leave everything as it was when the phone rang. There we go. So, that is finished. Go ahead and move that one out of the way. And clean off my stamp. And there we go. Go ahead and move this off screen and get back to our card. Now, while I was chatting with my sister, I went ahead and started coloring the flowers while I chatted with her. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And I've almost finished, but I just wanted to show you. Um, and, and you've seen me do these before. I'm uh, just using the watercolor pencils. I'm going to scribble in the flowers. Just kind of put some color on there. And then on this one, you can see I just did a very light color, but then I'm going to come in with the same color. This is the Calypso Coral, and I'm just going to darken in at the base a little bit, add a little bit more color down there at the base, just by pushing harder. Um, so that's pretty much all of them. Now, these were colored with Calypso Coral. Um, all of the foliage was colored with Garden Green. These three and these little, almost looks like wheat um, ones, were Daffodil Delight. 
the little blue flowers are Coastal Cabana and the Queen Anne's Lace, I put a little bit of basic gray on them. So there you have those. And then I am going to go in, I'm not going to do, the only thing I'm going to blend is going to be these big pink flowers. Everything else I think looks fine. So I'm going to come in with the blender pen on the coral leaf flowers and just kind of soften the pencil lines up. And there, that is, that's done. Okay, so move those out of the way, move this out of the way, and now we're gonna start assembling our card. So as I mentioned before, you have one that is wider than the others, that's your base. I'm gonna go ahead and fold the Sahara sand piece, give it a burnish. Get my adhesive out here, where did it go? There it is. <clears throat> Make sure I'm on the back, Oop. which obviously I would be on the back. There's no stamping on the back. Come on, why are you? Oh, because it went off the side, that's why. It's not, not giving me a very good, there we go. Oh, I think it's time to clean. I have a lot of sticky on there. <clears throat> And then this just gets centered onto that um, piece. And it's a very, very small border. Very faint border there. Okay, and then these two pieces, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and mount. Actually, I'm not going to mount it yet. I'm gonna take this piece first and I'm gonna hold it where it's gonna go. I'm gonna pull it over this way so here I have the border here, but I want to see where the words are and I want to tear it right above those words. So now I'm going to grab, make sure I'm still in about the right area and I'm just going to tear across. <clears throat> there we go, let's lay it down and see if it's, if it's good. Yep, that's good. And then I'm going to take this one and it needs to be torn above where the coral one is. So, I'll go like this, tear that across, and let's see. Yay! Okay, go ahead and adhere these two together. At the top here again thin border on those three sides and <clears throat> now I gotta find my twine okay so <clears throat> we're gonna take the twine um, pull some out and here's a little tip for you and you see how it's very curly coming off of these spools <clears throat> and I've probably showed you this tip before if you take a bone folder let me get that extra piece out of the way there just kind of run it between the bone folder and your finger. It won't take all of the kinks out, but it will help to smooth it out a little bit so you're not fighting with it. Um, and then what I like to do is take just a piece of regular tape. I'm going to put my twine on the back here and I'm going to tape it down, tape the end of it down. And then I'm going to wrap it around twice. Let's see, we're going to go this way, give it a little crossover. And then I'm going to use a second piece of tape and tape it down again. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there we have that part. And so now I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my card. Go ahead and run your adhesive right over top of your tape. Oops, come on. There we go. Go over top of that a little bit too. There we go. And then this gets adhered up here at the top. Mm, such a tiny, tiny border. There we go. And now we're just gonna take this and tie a bow. Just slide it underneath your twine. Um, and often this is easier to do if you can have a second person there. 
um, although this will work fine, it's holding pretty easily, I don't have to worry about, but oftentimes when my daughter was here I would have her hold the center for me um, if it wasn't going to hold on its own, but this one is pretty easy to do when you do it this way. There we go, tie our bow, pull the string a little, trim it off, and there we have, and you can move it where you want it onto your string. And then the last thing we're going to do is just take a few of our rhinestones. Where is the opening? Oh, it's in the front. <laughs> and let me grab my tool. And we want them. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to put one in the middle first. And then one on either side. Why is it not wanting to go straight for me? There we go. Let's evenly space those. And there we go. Our card. Now, I would still want to color my image on here, which I haven't done yet, but you kind of get the idea there. <clears throat> there is our finished project, project number three. So, we'll be back next week with our last project, which is a 3D um, bag. Um, but until then, God's love and blessings to you. Bye!